The seven gifts that Adam received from God are also our legacy as human beings. Because we all descended from Adam, if you want to have an effective relationship, follow God's list. 1. Image God's first gift to us as humans is his image. The first thing you need is not to find somebody else, but to find yourself. You need to first be secure in your own image. And that is only found in God. If you don't know who you are, or if you have a poor sense of self-worth, you have not yet tapped into the good nature within you. And you will probably be a liability to anyone you love. Number two, function. God gave Adam a specific function and way of operating. He said, you know who you are? Now here is how you work. You function by speaking. Whatever you say will happen. This principle is still true. Understand that whatever you speak regarding your personal circumstances, positive or negative, will become true in your life. Learn to speak positive and confident truth about yourself before entering a long-term relationship. Number three, presence. The first presence you need in your life is not the presence of a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but the presence of God. Number four, work. When God placed Adam in the garden and charged him to dress it and keep it, he was telling Adam to become himself. In other words, Adam was to manifest who he really was. God has the same purpose for you. He wants you to become yourself and manifest who you really are. Number five, cultivate. Adam's gift of cultivation meant that he could improve whatever he put his hand to. What about you? Are you secure and self-assured enough in your own identity? With the Lord that you can improve your environment wherever you are, do people enjoy being around you because you are creative and add a touch of life to every situation? Or do they prefer to be somewhere else when you are around because you are negative? Number six, protect. God gave Adam the responsibility to protect and guard his environment and everything that was in it. That meant that anything that was in Adam's presence was safe. Can that be said about you? Are people safe in your presence? Do you safeguard their confidence, their trust, and their dignity no matter what? 7. God is word. It's only the context of knowledge and obedience to the word of God that any relationship can maximize its potential. How well do you know God's word? How much time do you spend reading and studying and meditating on it? If you want to find a good mate and be a good mate, follow God's list. Don't look for love first. Love is the last thing you deal with in a relationship. Love does not keep a relationship together and neither does a prayer. Hello guys, my name is Msingz George from I Sustainable Innovations. Where we help you design your life and live your making because we believe you are born for a purpose. And there is a reason for your birth. There is a gift in you. I want to thank you for watching our videos. And if you are new here, please, it would mean so much to us if you subscribe to our channel. To become part of this family for innovative ideas and practical insights. On helping you to discover your own purpose in life. So that you can overcome negativity, fear, doubt. Because God sent you on earth with a gift inside of you. Let's develop and grow together. If something has resonated with you, leave it in the comment box below and it may inspire someone else. May God bless you.